Hey guys, what's going on? Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist, and I wanted to answer a question that came from the Total Knee Replacement Support Group about pain on the inside of your knee following your knee replacement. So there's something called a pes anserine bursitis. There's a bursa. A bursa is a fluid-filled sac that helps with lubricating, kind of cushioning, the bone basically where multiple tendons and ligaments and other connective tissue structures would cross. If you have pain, so here is the knee, right? This is the inside of the knee. Right about here is the joint line for the knee. And then right below that joint line, right in this area. So it's actually below where the knee replacement would happen. You would have your incision here. If I come out to the side, this is underneath the tibial plateau and you might have pain right into this area if you press along the side of the shin bone you're going to feel it it's going to be sharp and tense that might be pes anserine bursitis and if it is a little gentle cross fiber massage parallel massage even just becoming partly aware of it is going to have a huge impact in reducing some of this pain. If you've seen some of my videos on cupping, cupping is a strategy you can use to help reduce or alleviate some of the sensitivity in here. But just know that this is a common area of pain. It's almost one of the most common areas that patients don't even realize is sensitive until they come into therapy and we're assessing the knee and they realize how sensitive it is. So you could use an ice massage if you want videos on how to do a manual ice massage. Just let me know in the comments below. Suction cup, a little rolling pin. There's lots of different ways to address the sensitivity in that area. But research pes anserine bursitis and check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.